What objects look like in AutoCAD architecture is controlled by more than layers. Layers in AutoCAD control the visibility of objects as well as their color and their line type. In AutoCAD architecture, display control plays a much larger role. The display control is handled at three levels. Display configurations, display sets, and display representations. In this lesson, we'll be talking about display configurations. I have a drawing open here in AutoCAD architecture. And on the application status bar, we can see all of our display configurations listed. Let me move in on an area and change from one display configuration to another. As I change from medium detail to high detail, watch the hatch change density. Switching to low detail, we'll see the layers of the wall vanish and the doors become much more schematic as do the windows. Switching to the reflected display configuration, the walls heal themselves and we don't see any doors. At this point, I'll switch back to medium detail. None of this has changed any of the layers that are on or off. So what's controlling all of the display changes? On the Manage tab of the ribbon in the Style and Display panel, I'll pick the Display Manager tool, which brings up the Display Manager dialog box. On the left-hand side, we can see the three display control levels, configurations, sets, and representations by objects. Expanding the configurations section, we see the same list in the Display Manager dialog box that we saw on the application status bar. Selecting medium detail, on the right-hand side, we have four tabs, general, configuration, cut plane, and version history. Configuration is where I'll focus. What you see is the type of view direction listed on the left, and then the representation set listed on the right-hand side. So for example, when we are at medium detail, from a top view or the plan view that we're in, it's using this set called plan. If I look at high detail, we'll see that it's using a set called plan high detail, Low Detail is using Plan Low Detail, and Reflected is using the display representation set called Reflected. In the lesson on representations by objects and display sets, we'll see how this is affecting what we're actually seeing. In addition to the view information, there's also cut plane information. So we'll see that the Reflected display configuration has a cut height of 7.6, which is above the doors, which is why we don't see them initially, whereas at medium detail, the cut height is at 3 foot 6. This is also listed on the application status bar down here on the lower right. Returning to the configuration tab, we'll see that as we change view direction, we use different display sets. So let's see how that works. I'll go ahead and pick OK to this. And we're in a plan view at this point, but using the view cube on the right and selecting one of the corners to go to a southwest isometric, we'll see that we've switched our view direction, which has also changed the display representation set. So you'll notice at this point that our doors are closed, and in fact we can see that there are door stops visible. Let me go ahead and split the screen into two viewports. I'll enter V ports and then switch to two vertical and pick OK. And I'll switch to a top view on the right hand side and zoom in on those same two doors. On the left hand side, I'll change my display from Visual Style 2D wireframe to Visual Style Conceptual. Let me hide this wall that's in front and we'll zoom in on the door. Again, selecting this door, you'll see that it highlights, and you'll see that I can see the jam in this 3D view, but I don't see the jam in the plan view. So going back to the Manage tab, and going back to Display Manager, Configuration and Medium Detail, we'll see that we've switched our display representation set. In our top view, we're using the plan display representation set, 
but in our isometric view, which would use the default view direction, we'll see that our display representation set uses model. So something in the display representation set is changing the way the doors look. None of the layers are turned on or off, there isn't a separate layer for jams, and certainly there isn't a different block for the door because as I highlight it, you'll see it's the same object. So in the lesson on display sets, we'll look at how display representations affect this.